They're coming for you, JL, on the edge of the smoke. He tries to hit shots, and he does. It's Monacy straight onto Imet. He oh. contributes. Monacy slaps another. One hell of a start. Monacy, he's got a goal in mind, and it starts tomorrow. Can he get there? Alexi retakes smoke. Is all hope lost in this pistol? Bit on the warpath. Using that smoke to separate, segregate. Nico down to the four, now three. Locked out by that smoke further. A, oh. whoop, a tap out of Alexi. He can do more. Monacy's got a team kill. It's all on to Monacy now. Time on his side. Time is his friend. And oh, last bullet. Alexi had a chance. It's gone now. Monacy with just two bullets in the dual Berettas, but he knows he's done enough. The oh. Shaman, a 360 under the stars and lights. Hoopsy can't believe it, he's on his team. And Monacy starts ancient as he means to go on. He was playing with him there. Come on, a 360 one tap. He's having fun, he's having way too much. Unknown territory. Unknown quantities. And look at Monacy. Molly, oh, this is brutal. Wow. Who's done that? I haven't seen that. That's new to me. That's new to me, okay. folks. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't quite well, believe it. Well, that's one way to clear out tree. Well, yeah, in answer to the desk questions, I think G2 have been cooking. Bit of a forest fire. Yeah. And you know what happens is those can spread. Those can burn quickly. G2, they got the pistol. The second round of formality. A foregone conclusion. More flames at the feet of the pistols. Clean from Monacy, wonderful, Imet. The hidden shots, they will not retrieve, they will not pass go, they will not receive 200, it's two to zero to start. They're missing double mid mollies, missing spawn smokes, the util has never really been on point. Let's hope that they've been able to fix that and well, there you go, out the gates immediately and the deep elbow molly lands. So that's a great start as far as basic map control is concerned. Desk was also discussing the coaching styles. Blade with the notebook. Taz with the bravado. And the meat hook. Oh, Nico, he's on one. A laser beam to bit. Opens up the B site. Alexi, the only one with a chance to contribute, a chance to flip and tip the scales, but his barrel betrays him. Hoopsie collects it. Takes his scalp and takes the round. But take a look, Hunter's already starting to hunt here. He's still over towards middle. So with Hunter's position, Navi are looking for a safe haven. They can't head towards A. Both going to try and push through mid. Is it up and over Tetris? They need to find a way to hold on to these two rifles. There's no way they can contest a round like this with the bomb already so far gone. Now Hunter's passed them. These rifles with the loss bonus. We can have the discussion about the buy into the next. As they head around the world, their backs are turned, and Hooksy oh, okay. gonna grab another. Now the position noted, you're gonna run straight into towards Hunter. He's got it. He should have it. He should have it. Ime, though, he's staying forward. He's kind of creating enough gap. As the bomb blows up, though, will Hunter start to charge? Oh, oh Ime defends himself. Keeps hold of the M4 for round four. Okay, well, if they had saved two, we could get a conversation going about drops, but now I think it's just... Is this surely in the back of their heads? If the, your recent affairs have not been going well, you realize a grand final is at stake on a map. Games. And as I mentioned, it's a map that they kind of have to have done an awful lot of work on. For G2, we've only seen them play it twice in recent history, and one of them was a win over FaZe That's... as they ran through the RMRs as a 3 0. Oh my gosh, Ime, he's found safe haven. Barely. Yeah. It's cost him a great deal of his health, but at least he lives on the only rifle in play here. So it really hinges on Ime, already losing the majority of his health. This round going one way. Oh! Or not! JL offers us another, another opportunity. This guy is such a playmaker. Back-to-back semi-finals on the major circuit. Look at the bomb tippy top of the ramp, and he wants more. He wants to do one better. Hunter takes down Ime. The gap, the gap. The gap, JL! He's got another, this would be unbelievable! Ace out of JL! Gives Na'Vi a lifeline and breaks G2. They're mental in the bin, just a deagle to his name and he takes 
all five. The first, you think, okay. The second is ridiculous. And the third is absurd. Finds the gap onto Hoopsy. Oh, call a timeout. Re That's a statement round right there. JL, huge. That might have echoes of effect onto G2, whose buy is now extremely brittle. Galil's Tech 9. He's only gone and done the impossible. This is where JL feels like he's made a bit of his name. On a map like this, once upon a time, donning that Apex jersey. Yeah, he is the Apex Predator. Top of the food chain here on Ancient. Can G2 recover? Late mid control. Alexi will get a chance to tussle with this. Yeah, but covered with a full info that B's clear. Well, they're past the LAS. Yeah, this is a bit of an issue now if Yemek goes down early, but he's got bit in support. They're going to be bounding around this corner. Free fire, good! He gets two. It's bit that can throw the knockout blow. He is going to be cleared by Hunter. A three on three, nothing for the wonderful AWP. Vision obscured, bomb planted. Hunter, a chance here to find more impact. A double kill, great. Alexi going round for the flank. This would disrupt Nexus angle onto Temple. It's all about timing. Wonderful's going a little bit ahead of Alexi's timing. Doesn't matter. He takes down Nexa. It really has to be Hunter. Side by side. Hoopsie, what have you got? JL spots him. Dipping around the site. Running out of time. The CTs, they need to get in. They're struggling. Frags are found. Maybe he's got it. Hooksy, can he do it? No, he can't. Where's the kit? It's on Alexi. He's done it. He's got it. A second to spare. Navi. <laughs> One stray bullet. It's a different story. Great from Immer on the double, right? A multi kill necessary. Whew. It got cleared out for free. And then Hunter has no space, nowhere to go. It wasn't even the flank that dealt with Nexa, oh. which is the concerning part. And JL, finding fine form. Seriously. Has had a strong tournament. The pride of Lithuania. Unbelievable scenes. Round six. What, what's in store for us here? It's Deagles. It's something that we know can do damage. A prime example given just earlier. Now it's Nico's turn, his signature Deagle Blaze. Can he set this arena on fire? No, sir. Not at the hands of JL. He's found some confidence and plays a very important position on the map, right? There's going to be a lot of aim map duels. Nico's just going to want to play behind Molly's, taking those taps. And if JL can stand up and deliver this type of form as... Looks with the Glock, braving the fight. You're not going to get a lot of this one, are you, G2? Felt like that fourth should have been an absolute certainty. And then what would the discussion be? About to be tied up 3 3. You talk about MR12, about those rounds, the same thing happening on Anubis at times. Certainly not in the same way. JL is coming to Ancient with a point to prove. And MF will spray him down comfortably. All five staying alive, important to start building out a bank for locking horns. This is very A-centric. But with the AWP, it's not going to be fast. They're going to try and set him up for a pick. Yeah, but what happens when you call B clear early? Wonderful already is getting himself set up to provide early insight. Flash for that orb line. Wonderful is going to be peaking now. And jumping. Monacy down. Wonderful takes him down early. Orb on orb action. Oh, no. Hooksy loses his head. It's wonderful. That makes him dead. Could be more. The damage is done. Nico versus Alexi, he's flustered, he's fragged, and this is G2 left wanting. Empty handed into the A site, another for him. Towards B, so I guess they're likely to lob this over towards Long. I think they're looking for JL. Yeah, lob it towards Long, see if you're able to get any damage done. Nobody home, wasted, 900 bucks down the gurgler. Alexi's been throwing this smoke regularly. Limits the threats towards the cave and... Well, wonderful. He spots out the search. Significant damage from their nades. Honestly, pot shots. JL, he welcomes these engagements. Takes them in his stride. A multi-kill round for JL up to 10. He may right behind him. Who's not going to check a freebie for Alexi? Oh, Nexa yet to get off the mark. He'd love to just grab one of these. Slow down. Well, I was going to say, slow down, JL, and get yourself on the board, but nope. He ain't. Double Molly's mid. They'll hit the mark. Oh, 
Humphrey have been in the lab with the basics. And it's very important, especially for somebody like Ima, to have confidence to be staunch and forward, ready to take those fights. If you can't land the util, then you can't contest mid. And if you can't contest mid, then your cave player is under so much pressure early. The two very connected. And right now, it's a three-player B stunt. You see the Lurk Smoke mid site causes questions for Na'Vi, and that nade lands on the dome of Wonderful, chipped on down to 71. Clear now, flash forward, Orp scopes up. Just parking the bus. G2 have taken the pace out of things. Let's see if he can find that little slither gap there is Monacy. Yeah, he's geeking it, but... The first 55. Oh, <laughs> there it is! Nico goes looking for answers, he just gets a bullet. And now Dayal, he seems like a guarantee every time we jump to his POV. He's gonna get something! Wonderful builds on top! Five alive, Hunter fighting tooth and nail, JL! Gets out the first nail. Killing the last four rounds. Oh. Am I reading that right? They just can't get going. No, they have been absolutely stunted. Literally just one kill in four rounds of play. Well, they're trying to get some pace into the mix, perhaps. The standard start. Smoke cave, smoke red, extinguish lane. Uh, this is really tough for Hooksy to be able to call around because you're not doing any damage, you're not doing any dents. It's not that you're getting into the rounds, you're not getting the bomb down. Well, this has to change now. Yeah, they've actually caught him off with a flash. It doesn't matter. JL racks up a double. Hooksy trying to give his team something to work with, but JL's still alive and fragging up a storm. Give him the deagle. Monacy denies with his own, and Alexi's the one to sweep another. Who since? Oh my goodness. They, they've lost any momentum they were running with. It's that they've struggled with in the past. They're on a three map losing streak. They've had issues with basic utility and they're in the driver's seat. Oh, they're driving all right. They're driving as fast as they can to the grand finals tomorrow, Championship Sunday. For the PGL Copenhagen page, and look at, look at Eco that? gives it a go. Trying to be the hero, it's JL to rip off his red cape and says, "Try again, try again." This CT side already monstrous. Monacy, what can you do? Look at the protocols. Bit slips across with a well-placed flash. Monacy. No info on that one. That's a spot. Catches the boosted player. Knows there's another. Hunter trying to do what Nico couldn't. And it's JL next. Huge, huge from Hunter. Racks up three. Set for success. A compulsory conversion from G2. Molly late. Next against the bomb down. Will he get a frag? Oh, just as his boots hit the ground, his bullet finds the head. And it is a fourth for G2. It's been a long while before we said that one. Well, welcome to the semi-finals, Hunter. Impact's been few and far between, but that is a dialogue shifter again. Four as well, the bullet straight through, wonderful, will eventually get taken out, but there's... Four is workable, five is great. He has redeemed himself in a step in the right direction there. That is a beautiful sequence out of Hunter. He's given them something. Something just to stem the bleed. They were hemorrhaging rounds. It was astonishing just to see those four rounds in a row where we're talking hardly any kills for G2. Yeah, but that was just the echoes. You said the echoes would come of JL's ace. It took them this long to get back on their feet, dust themselves down, say, play on, five rounds still available here for G2's T side. A grand final up for debate. Mid control. And it's Imet, draws first blood. Is there more? Pushing through the smoke! What is this? Alexi will take down Hunter, leaping through smokes. We've gone for late control, hoping that the flashes would be good enough. Imet was ahead, Alexi wasn't blind, and Nico's in the grave. Six feet deep. And this is pistol conversions and what should have been a certainty on the fourth. Who knows what could have become of this half? We'll see a Nexa. Nexa, at least he's on the board, has a kill to his name. Oh, wonderful. Tries to get the flick of the wrist. Now posted was Monacy. Falls back off the angle. Audible to Alexi. Would have to hit the quick scope. Would have to clear him out. Misses his chance. Alexi collects, and it's only Nexa. 
up against the world. Emma converts, folks. No Way now from locking themselves in. Oh. Hot mid smoke. There has never been a more important pistol for G2. Flash of the ready from Bit. Third map semi final. Major stakes. Aggressive main push from Hunter. This is important. Does he contain or does he continue searching for info? The balls to go for a push like this. You need to make players like this on the stage. You need to be able to get your team some information. Looking to block Cave with a smoke in hand. Hooksy, this would be important to get it off at the right time. Hunter's flank, here it comes. Info, yeah. Restraint. Hooksy aware, drops the smoke. That seems optimal. Allows the silent arrival of Hunter. Imet, down and out. Hunter, what have you got? It's a double on the Julies. Man advantage, bomb spotted. The jig is up. Still chance to rotate away from this Na'Vi. A minute mm. on the clock. Still a bit of utility for them to work with. And the fact it's so silent, G2 have to wonder, where have they gotten off to? A plant would be something to walk away with, but the round is still on. G2 have now posted into a retake setup on the B site. They're into cave. It'll be JL's utility to get them out Should of it. Should get a plant. Most definitely. Hooksy and Nico congregated towards the long. Lexi, this fight means a whole lot. Is there really a way that they can take this round? It looks good. Hooksy double. Bomb goes down, but it's got to be G2 round. <laughs> oh, Gael, he's a demon. Anian, Tech 9, Mac 10, Util, more than enough for Na'Vi to work with. Okay, early space available here, man. You talk about making these plays on the big stage. He's, he's just got all that info. Real early doors for the T-side campaign. JL puts his name in the feed for the 21st time in our 14th round of play. 21 for six, what a mammoth Outrageous. Scoreline. He's had carry performances in this major so far, but this one, Ooh. this one might be the cream. Number disadvantage to operate with now for G2. Bomb over towards A main, but they've rotated, rotated heavily. Monacy, the weight of the round is on your shoulders. These are the moments he lives for. Spots two, how does he react? He's gonna get overwhelmed, a bullet! Finds his head, it's wonderful to make him dead. It's already looking over. Hunter scarpers to try and contribute. There's a gap, he unloads his mag. Yes. He's coming straight into Ime, collects it. Spotless from Na'Vi. <laughs> the pistol was theirs, but so short-lived is their success. The ramifications of the CT economy dawning on them, and the fact that Hunter's gone for that, the fact that he was on his own, the fact he gets isolated, that was an M4, that's given over for free. It's just two MP9s that they have to retain. And now G2, it was already tough, now you have to do it on hard mode. Nine for now via lock, but how much more can they take with them? Segregated behind the doors, is gonna try his luck. The... And yet here they are. Forced by wars in full force. G2, there's a will, there's a way. You've got to get yourself into this round. Oh, honestly, so dead. Booked by the flash of Bit. They will run down JL. They take down JL. That's something, but look at Bit. Forward stance, retrieves the bomb. They could have lost the bomb if it wasn't for him getting away. Hooksy. Gonna go down, huge from Wonderful. They look for space. Uh, Na'Vi, the kills come their way. Now they can regroup, they can hit this B bomb site. It's just Hunter here. What have you got for us, Hunter? It has to be something rather absurd. A smoke cave, he's got an incendiary that, oh, could cost him his life. Gets it down, buys himself some time. The pressure is coming, the util has arrived. And he is alone. Look at Ime, though. He's got the rotation. This is a powerful position from Ime. He can hear everything. If Nico runs, the same for Nexa, they'll give over so much info. This is a difficult clear. Yeah, man. Oh, asleep at the wheel! How has Nico done that? But he's expecting B. The call still works. Who's going to be there? It's only Nexa. Two frags to his name. One of them in this round would have to do a whole lot more. Ready's himself. No sound cues yet. Alexi B, diligent, starts to plant. Nexa, what's your reaction to this? Wonderful providing cover. He has the angle. Nexa spotted. And Nexa, he's gone.
There's nothing here for you here. It seems like the 10th round is a certainty now. Na'Vi need just three. Bomb goes off, they want to take it all the way. Nico and Hunter survive, oh! or do they? Hunter gives it away, gives away an AK. That was a rifle. Just slicing their hopes of a sixth in half. We saw players reflecting upon their careers and the main sticking point, it's not the victories. They, they pass by after a couple of days, you lose the feeling, but the losses, they stay. They stay forever in your mind, every detail of what went wrong, what you should have done. And for G2, that is likely going to be this ancient VAT ace from JL. Deagles up the ramp, gets three. Now, this one a formality, it's just pistols, Chad. Navi, a silver platter for an 11th. Hunter just a 5-7 to his name. What is great. Ime trades. Next up. Uh, ooh, a chance onto Bit. Squandered. JL, he can take them both here. Nico, that Galil, how far is it going to get you? Just the one to save onto the gun. Monacy caught by Ime, still racking up the frags. He's right there beside JL in the frag totals. A test of their metal ahead. A test of their mental, a test of their individual ability. He's lost it. It would have been no traffic. They got their arms in their jackets. Is their individual brilliance available? That's one thing for Monacy. Sticking around, he wanted more. Denied for now. I'm still not done, JL. Taking space, will be smoked off and playing ahead. These are those plays. Is Nico aware? Can JL get the better of him? Nico denies an important find. A two-player advantage. Just to start the conversation. But this is not done. What is that? Pushes the smoke. Hooksy unprepared for it. Alexi slipping into a wide open bomb site. They're over rotating off. He's making the calls. There's a massive gap. Hunter's low. He, oh he took gosh. a big exchange of damage. They've completely given up to his sight. They're going to be able to just waltz on in. But it's not just that. They have multiple Molotovs to constrict the rotation back. There's plenty of U2 once the bomb goes down. And Bit, with that Stockholm trophy by his name, is the perfect lethal weapon. Realization sinks in. G2, all of that hard work, that double entry. JL and him are taken out of the equation but it could not matter. Bit hidden in plain sight, tucked in. They can't clear him. Their backs will be turned. Their backs could be broken. Hunter turns around. It's only the one. Okay, you need to get on the bomb. Time-sensitive mission here. Alexi's got a Molotov. Next, are good for it. Takes him down. The Molly on the bomb, though. We need a smoke. We need a defuse. Time is ticking. It could be enough for G2. They live to tell the tale of the round they almost threw away. First tactical timeout called. No bit of pray, bow to your gods. It's Na'Vi from the grand finals. Phase his opponent soon to be determined. There were some fumbles in there, some windows of opportunity. This swing from Nico to on his screen, gets nothing but damage. By G2, final round. MP9s, pistols, 1M4, and aggression in the mix. You've got a caution to the wind. Everything at stake. Alexi V can do it. He can do them dirty. It's Hootsie through the smoke, spamming away. Puts JL on notice. 
They take full lane control. EK for Nico. Twelve six. Six rounds in consecutive fashion demanded of G2. Well, their major journey ends here on Saturday. And it's Navi. This round far from a guarantee. And it's calling for a boost. Well, she's gone through. No boost needed. Okay, that's brave. Honestly, was spotted. But, whoa, damage again. Honestly, these wall bank tags, it's haunting him this game. Puts them, two of them, very low. Softened up for plays like this from Hooksy. Could get punished. He was ready. And it's only the one. Wonderful keeps the chances alive. Next are under scrutiny. Has support. It's wonderful to swing in unison. It needed it to be one. It's another from Hunter. And it's a seven for G2. They survive the night. Going to be very serious faces from here on out. Walking on eggshells. 1,900 loss into the next. So for now, V. How do they want to approach this round of play? Even a little bit of residual cash on a few of their members, but Tech 9, Steagles, P250, a couple of smokes, a couple of flashes, and over towards A they go. And it's fast, it's a set smoke, they're just rushing A. No one home, only Monacy needs one, delivers onto Wonderful. Playing for the retake, smoke arrives, should facilitate a plant. Hunter chooses to push, delivers the first, down he goes. JL through the smoke, Monacy another. G2 seem to have held on, but it's JL. It's JL alive. I know where he is. They certainly do, Chad. And he's going round the world in 1 minute 17. Audible, converted, another for G2. A pressure moment. All in A with the pistols. Monacy gets the first, gets away. Nice. The response time is there. They deny the plant. Now they should be guaranteed another. That was the force fight. This will be the full eco. We don't get more skimp than this. These two given the opportunity now to pick up their ninth round. Draw this just back to a three round game. And now you're in no rush. Taking in the moment, understanding the situation. As Alexi, man on the screen right now, you can see the conversation. They can sit here, they can talk about the next gun round. I'm taking a look at Blade. He's reading his notes, pacing back and forth. 60 plus seconds to ready themselves for the next round of play. Him and Imma are having a big conversation. Now, Imma is the player to take the mid control. It's understandable, right? How have they been taking mid? How do we want to try and take that space? The two of them needing to confer, important. And it looks like that dialogue is continuing. They're still talking through the round and how they want to follow. Oh, just knowing you need one. But this is the perfect use of a round like this. Bit's not saying anything. Just been Emma and Alexi talking. So now, what can they get done? Can they do any damage? Can they get that bomb down? 30 seconds to find out. Flash is oh, good. Wow, he's been completely booked then. Eco stands his ground. So does Hunter. They'll find a little bit of damage. With zero margin for error. It can all end in a flash. The world is watching. Wonderful steps forward. Nico has a glance, audible. Nade looks good. Chip damage. Caves the worry. Pressure point for Hooksy. He's been losing these aim jewels, but there he is again in the feed for an opener. Pressure 
Cave lost. Hooksy concedes in the open. Gets away with it. He goes stranded. He has got so much to do. Pressure from both sides. He needs support. He needs someone. Hooks has been. Uh, How did that spam. happen? Wall Just spam down Hunter. Now Nico needs one back. He's backed hand. Monacy again. Hooksy combines. We need another. It has to be Monacy dancing around the side. Ilya Osipov popping off. Needs the last. Oh! There was one bullet left in the AWP. He just had one shot at the orb to get that done. And he keeps him in it. He keeps G2's grand final dreams alive. Oh, the superstar the shining pressure. bright, he's, Virgil. He's peeking, he's dancing around that pillar, and he's getting it done. He bows them out again. Check this one out. Back. The premonition, it was perfect. The response time. Take a look. One bullet left in the AWP. Oh, it had to be. Takes down Alexi B. Two more, he said. Two more. Back to pistols, pace this time. Cave, it can be the pressure point. Hooksy's susceptible. This B site seems weak. They're coming for him. Hooksy stands his ground. Oh no! Nico down. Overrun. Hunter holds his side. Into the back line. What is that drive by from Bit? It's a three on three, but they're so low. It's so tantalizingly close. If only they could find one more. It's Hooksy good for it. Bit can't really get that bomb down. Braves the flame. Nate on his face. Combined with the bullet to Hooksy. G2 are going to take us the distance. Spotted out and executed. I can't quite believe we're here. It was 12 to 6, folks. Six rounds in consecutive fashion demanded of G2, and that's five. I said it was going to be a Royal Rumble. Well, this is a rumble in the bloody jungle. Ancient delivering. And the Royal Arena away. Down, but Full focus. Pressure it. Full focus. Not messing about over towards A. There's no main control, but look at the call from G2. They're expecting something a little bit more A-centric. They just had three players on the site. Rotating back now. Better division of the forces. The AWP of Monacy. He's in the right place. Silence before the storm. This is crazy. They're waiting for it. Monacy going to throw out the smoke, but we need a flag. Oh, no, he goes ahead of it. Oh, no, it's going to be Jay Allen bit. Monacy, what have you got? Misses his first, getting overrun. It looks like G2's time here in Copenhagen is over as JL racks up another 28 francs and counting Hunter Quartal. It's all on Nexa. Navi pulled into the grand finals. One more kill. Wonderful gets it. Sometimes your opponent's just having a really good day. And what a birthday present for Alexi B. 2019, the last time he was in a major grand final where he couldn't lift that trophy. Well, tomorrow, he and Na'Vi are going to get another chance, another opportunity to lock horns with FaZe. Unbelievable.